Hi, welcome to Start PHP. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the code and explanation of how to find the difference between two date and time using PHP. I'm going to show you the difference in, in second between the two time and date or hours and minute, or you can find the difference in terms of day, month, hour, minute, and seconds and year. Let's get started with this. The PHP code for this tutorial is available at startphp.com. The link to the code is below this video in the description. And here is an example. We have a one or first date and time in this format, the year, month, and day. And then this is a clock uh, with hours and minutes and seconds. And also we have a second date and time in this format. The code that I'm presenting will work either with this format or in this format, doesn't matter. But in this format, you have to remember that this is the month and then the day and then the year. So we will enter the values in this format and we will get the result. This is the total number of seconds between the two. Here, we, have, we don't care which one is bigger or smaller. We just find the difference because the title says the difference or we can find out how many hours is the difference between the two or number of minutes. And also if you want day and even year between the two, you can find out. Here is the code now. I'm using, I'm using NetBeans IDE. It's a free program. I've defined here date time one and inside a single code, we have the date and time in this format. And then we have date and time number two which we have again inside a single code in this format. And this is a function that does the calculation. We have an HTML code that is getting it. First, this one prints the first date and time so you can see it. The exact date and time number one and date and time number two. This is the one that you see here. Date and time number one and date and time number two. And then we, we call the function date time diff, which is this function, date and time diff, and we pass date time number one and date time number two. This will return the date and time, and here we put inside a single code in the square bracket s if we want number of seconds. If we want hour, we put single code and h, if we want minute and day. And when these two values, the date time number one and date time number two, arrive here, the date and time number one arrives here, we call it date number, date number one and date and time number two, which we pass this one will be called date number two. This is an array. And then we create a time from date number one. Time. We convert this string to time. So we create that, uh, create that and we call it first. And then from date number two here, we create another uh, time, we call it second. And here we subtract from first the second one, doesn't matter order because I've used here ABS, absolute. So whatever is the value, if, if it is negative, we, we convert it to positive. So this is giving uh, the result an absolute value and it will be stored in a variable called date diff. Now here we are getting the second. This is actually already the second because the value that you are getting here, uh, which is converted here, it will be a uh, Unix timestamp. So this will give you the, in that format, this is number of seconds. We use floor. In this case, even it was not needed, I just put it for consistency. Floor means any value that is, if you have any decimal point, it will bring it down. Floor mean brings it to floor around it. And here to get the minute, we get the value, number of seconds, because this is number of seconds and divided by 60, it will give us the minute. And that diff is there and we assign it as M. So this will be filled up in that array with M as minute. And then if to get the uh, hour, we divide it by six second times minute. This is 60 times 60 will be converted to hour and the same multiply it again. This is the hour times 24, it will be day. And then 
which we have day and then multiplied by 30 days it will be man month because we have two m's here i used capital m so this capital m refers to month the rest everything is small including year which we have multiplied by 366 so only m is capital and at the end we say return def this array will be returned now because we are getting here for example for the second this is returning a value because this is an array we get any element of that array by typing that uh, key that we have defined here the index key so this index is printing that for us and if you want month put capital M now if I refresh this you will see that it shows month between the two is zero because we have 29 days this is another example where you get the time difference for exact same time that we have here we this second does not represent the difference between the two the difference between these two times are four months one day 24 hours 38 minutes and 12 seconds so you can ha compare it exactly in terms of year month day hour minute and second and take some action this is the code again we have two variables defined date time number one date time number two and here we call it date time diff all which means they give you all and it needs two values to arrive and we, we use the same method here we say date time diff all and then we want second the difference is in calculation here first we make we convert this string to time we call it first time and then convert this day two we call it second time and then we subtract one from the other one we get the seconds and here we define array called diff as before but here we define number of seconds in a minute so minutes and i put capital s that refers to seconds in a minute is 60 in hours we have 60 times 60 number of seconds and then for day and then for month and then for year so we will use this in our code later first to get the year what we do is we get the total number of seconds which is this one and we divide it by number of seconds in year so that when you do that you get number of years either one two three or whatever and then to get the month first we have to subtract the year because if it is one year and four months we want to throw out the year or subtract it so here we get sec second year time this year that we have calculated i put it here the, so this this year if it is one times this many seconds it will give you actual seconds in a year a number of years that we have in this calculation we subtract it and then we divide by month so this will give you month capital m and then if you want number of days we have to subtract year month and divided by days will give you days if you want to get hour we have to subtract year month and day remember the first one was subtracting on a year the second one year and month and the third one now year month and day and then if you want to get days subtract number of seconds in the number of years that we have and then number of months find the number of seconds in this calculation and also days and then hours and then sub divided by number of seconds in a minute and you will get the minute and also here we do the seconds so you have to subtract see how many years month day hours and minutes and the remainder will be the number of seconds which will return and here as you can see if you do a simple math calculation it shows the difference is 12 seconds in terms of second so 33 plus 10 will be 43 and then we have two more left 44 45 which is correct you want to do a current time let me just replace the date and time number one if you want to do the current time that you want to find so I'm replacing date and time number one with this one because this is the second line it will replace and I don't need to even comment it 
now this is the current time, year, month, day, hour, minute and second. So let's refresh it. So this is the current time in my hometown and this is the, the one that we want to calculate. So it shows 5 hours, 30 minutes and 4 seconds. And if I refresh it after a few seconds, you will see that time is continuously changing. You can do the time in here as well directly. For example, if you want to make this time number one like that, you can pass it and it will work for the seconds. I'm just showing you 41 seconds and you don't see any difference. Now let's see how we can take an action based on difference in time. At the moment, the time difference between the two date and time is 12 seconds, 38 minutes, 23 hours, 0 days and 5 months. Now let's see how we can take an action like that. First, I'm defining here an array called trigger time and then I'm defining as an array, I'm defining second minute hour day capital M which is month and year 12 28 23 0 5 and year is 0 we can print this at the bottom here I'm printing the new array that I have defined here minute 28 this and then hours 23, day is 0, month is 5 and so I've defined this in my new array and I'm just doing a comparison to compare it and take some action. Here I've written this code. First I'm getting the time, all of them as an array. Before remember we were using uh, the index to print it but now we are not getting it. The whole result is being inserted into being stored in this variable called diff. And this is just printing my trigger values here. I did not put 38, I put 28 for now. Pay attention. And here we are using f string trigger time. This is a trigger time. S, we are getting that the value of second and we compare it to the difference in terms of second. If this is true, these two ampersand mean and, and if minute is true between the difference and the trigger time, and then day, hour, month, if all of these are true because I put ampersand and 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 then we print the condition is true if it is true else we put false. So whatever action you take will be here for example sending email or doing something if the time matches. And here when I run, run the code it says condition is false the reason for that is because month is 28 but actual month between the two is 38. So because the condition that we put in our trigger time that is 28, let me change it to 38 and then reload and as you can see it says condition is true. So at this stage you can take some action, whatever you want to do here will happen. Thanks for watching. This was how to find the difference between two date and time and take action based on that. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.